Hello everyone, this is Cynthia. Well, I just got back from my post hysterectomy checkup. Oh yeah. But first let me tell you what happened. After I written proper bonus of all the way down to was driven all the way down to uh Northwestern in downtown Chicago, where my doc where my medical facility has been for six years, okay. Get that nuts for a little nauseated. Guess what I did? Ate at a restaurant. Oh my god, I shouldn't have done that. You're talking about making me feel worse. Oh yeah. <laughs> now I'm rubbing my hair. So I was like, mm, boo boo, you just learned a lesson. But anyway, the um, good news is everything is going well for me now. Um, basically, I'm just uh, sitting on the floor because. I'm sore <laughs> from the ride. You know, the infrastructure in Chicago really needs to be repaired. And but let me tell you what happened. All right, I got there. I told her all my complaints, my pains, everything that's going on. She says to be expected. She explained to me what they took out of me. She talked about my tumors and the stuff they created, which was really bad. She talked about how it was hard to remove my uterus because it didn't want to come out. Which I never thought I would hear before in my life. It's a donut. And, um, and this is a card from my Women of the Moose. Uh, the card they gave me to get well. My sister's at uh, Key Lodge. Kinky chapter 143 and this is my little bear I bought before surgery you know to make me feel good when I get home and look at her it's a little doggy let me let you get a good picture of her all right now so I got there and I told her about pains the pains I was having she says that uh, my navel completely healed. Completely, she's very shocked to see that. My, my, my right side over here, my right side over here, and my left side over here is healing quite well. Uh, she removed those, uh, those things. Uh, and then she had to check the vaginal area. That hurt it, <laughs> even though it was a rough. But when you're already in pain in that area, it hurts. Anything hurts. So my hand kind of threw back, and she was like shocked, like, what? You know, but then she looked up and said, you're looking good. I said, I'm feeling so bad. She said, that's to be expected. But here's the shocking part. Now, when she took my uterus out, I explained to her, because I'm taking stool softener, and uh, I explained to her about the extra pain when the stool is coming out on its own because of the softener. She said that's because the my intestines have lowered because there's no uterus there to keep it from um, being there, but it'll go back to normal in a little while. She explained to me about no heavy lifting and stuff and to stay on a bland diet. So it's okay to stay away from restaurant food. I had no restaurant food in weeks, so I decided to go to my, oh no. No, 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 no. I need to keep looking. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't do it right now. I can't do it. And it was a restaurant I enjoy the before the surgery, but today I was like, oh, wow. Okay, so I went home. I had to sit still. I'm still feeling bad, but I'm feeling glad because everything is going well. She explained to me about uh, leg cramps and how they, and I was explaining to her how they were rolling. And she explained to me that I need to drink more and more water. And I'm drinking so much water. I'm like, whoa, how much more water I got to drink, man? Because I'm out of my cases and stuff of water. And I gotta have my daughter bring me some tomorrow. Two more cases. Okay, you know the 35, um, you know the 35, 16 ounce bottles. Those. I got my daughter bring me those. And, um, so basically, the good news is, just, you know, it's pretty much just sticking to the diet I, I had going into the surgery. 
the pre-op surgery, you know, like roughage, which is like rice, beans, uh, uh, salads. No, I didn't, I ain't got any fish. I brought some pork chops, but I got some uh, chicken, but it's baked and not fried, okay? Um, a lot of juices, juice, uh, some milk, because you have to have cereal. I got some oatmeal, you know, I got some bacon, stuff like that. I got salad, all kind of salad stuff, some eggs. So basically, I'm not really, and then I got the fruit drinks, you know, the breakfast fruit drinks, like strawberry, and then a the blended one, like that. So basically, I, I've lost a few inches. I haven't lost pounds, just a few inches. I'm not trying to be on a diet, but that's the way it's going. Because I can't eat anything. I feel so nauseated from the pain pills to help you make it every day. Um, I have to take off my glasses because I'm exhausted and I wear corrective lenses because, you know, this eye, I have to wear corrective lenses. So I, I took my glasses off to give my eyes a break and I, I turn on this soft light right here in my front room. You know, I have other lights like over there, up here. But I turn this one on to help me with my eyes. But yeah, the hysterectomy postpartum checkup was wonderful, you know. So try to stay on a blended diet, okay? All right, my girl, peace and blessings with you guys. Love you. All right, amen.